with the birth of e-commerce in the 20th century, economics globally started moving away from cash to electronic transaction, allowing payments to be made instantly across the globe. This innovation allows different sectors of the economy to make payments in millions for contracts, salaries, or even allow the commuter to pay their fares with this Lagos Connect card. On this episode, we visit the Card ATM and Mobile Expo to find out how the systems work. I'm Bafemi Craig. I am Kate Harmony. Join us after the break. This is the news update on Lamata FR. Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority Lamata has participated in this year's Public Service Week celebration. The Public Service Week, with a the theme, the African Charter on Values and Principles of Public Service and Administration, a tool for enhancing governance in the open government era, is used to draw attention to the contributions of those working in the public service development of the state's economy. The celebration opened on Monday 17th June with various activities, including exhibition by agencies on their projects and activities, annual public lecture, long service award, and recognition of outstanding public servant, work for fitness, GMAT, and interdenominational service. Construction of the second phase of the Blue Line Rail project has commenced. This followed appreciable work carried out on the first phase of the project between Mile 2 and the National Theatre. The second phase takes the project from the National Theatre to Marina. The Blue Line is a 27-kilometer railroad between Marina in central Lagos to Okokumaiko in the western part of Lagos. The phases 1 and 2 of the rail line account for almost half of the entire rail project, which on completion is expected to move more than 400,000 passengers daily. The project is expected to stimulate the economy through job creation, elimination of congestion, promotion of environmentally friendly transport system, and improvement in the lifestyle of the citizens, among other benefits. That was the news update. Basically, what Lamata does is uh, to coordinate uh, public transportation in Lagos State, and um, we came up with a transport master plan. Developed together with the World Bank, the objective of this plan is finding long-lasting solutions for the problem of transportation in Lagos. Currently under its first steps of development, the plan has already proven itself a big success dramatically increasing the connectivity in a city in continuous expansion and enjoying an unparalleled demographic and economic growth. Our responsibility is to ensure that we provide the necessary infrastructure to meet the growth, to improve the quality of life, to improve the standard of living and to make uh, Lagos a vibrant and livable city in years to come. Lamata, think transport. And now for some safety tips. This week, we shall concentrate on what we need to do in terms of long distance driving. Now, it is not new that a lot of us need to travel out of state. And it is not new that some of us will take our private vehicles and some of us will take public transport. But staying on the road on long distance driving is something that affects all of us. And even if we don't travel by ourselves, we have family members that travel out of state. In short, long distance travel. So what do we need to do to keep ourselves safe when we're taking on board driving long distances? If you're going by with your own car, with your own private car, it doesn't matter whether it's you who's driving or whether it's your spouse, or even a professional driver. Those are the sort of people we call our own drivers in this part of town. Is that number one, you must ensure that the vehicle that you intend to travel with, it's in tip top good condition. How do you check that? You check all the liquid levels that you have on your car. You ensure that your tires are checked. 
In fact, it's important to have an overall bioregular mechanic just to ensure that all the things that need to be in place in terms of long distance travel is in place. Don't take the risk, like because you've been driving within the city, the car hasn't given you any problems, you feel it is okay to take it on the highway and drive for four or five hours and you think it's gonna be okay. No, be doubly sure that everything is cool with that vehicle. What do you need to put in place before you get behind the wheel? Don't go inside the car, and that is when you begin to fiddle with things when you're halfway through the journey. These are the times where you need to make sure that your mirrors, your indicators, everything are already in place. Your seating position comfortably is in place. The radio station that you want to listen to is already in place. Whether you want to listen to tapes or CD, you've already picked them out. It's not when you're on the express. When you're doing the journey, that's when you begin to look for what tape you listen to or whatever like that. So you've got to be mindful and be careful that you limit to the barest minimum any form of distraction as you're going on a long distance trip. The other thing that you need to do is to prepare yourself properly. How, what do I mean by preparing yourself properly? The kind of food that you eat, the drinks that you take, whether it is even coffee or tea, you've got to ensure that if you take too much liquid, for example, it means you may end up having to go to the toilet or needing to ease yourself more often than normal. What that means is that you're forced to stop on the highway to do that. The gas stations in between may be so far. So you've got to be careful, like you know you're traveling for four, six, eight hours. Limit the amount of liquid that you take inside of you before you even start. And calculate where you're going to stop along the line where you can comfortably ease yourself. We in Nigeria these days, and the government, they all frown at people easing themselves on the highway in the full glare of other drivers. It doesn't speak well of the way we should be in this country. So we should limit that opportunity like, oh, it doesn't matter where I stop, I can always use myself. We should change that attitude. The second thing is food intake. You've got to try and eat something so that your body feels alive while you're driving a long distance. But don't eat too much or even the type of food that you eat. Some people may wake up in the morning and they feel because they're traveling, they now start eating six slices of yam with five eggs and all what else. Trust me, that is too much food intake for you to go on a long distance journey because you'll just fall asleep. It doesn't mean that you're tired. It's just that your body will just take in the food and it will just break down until you feel so tired from the food intake alone. So you've got to find a way to manage all these things. The other thing that you need to do is to calculate that you don't want to do the driving by yourself for four, five, eight hours. It doesn't mean you shouldn't but we're just saying it is better to travel with someone who can drive as well, someone who is licensed to drive, so that you can share the driving. It's not just about you seeing better on the wheel. You're not showing off to anyone. You're not trying to prove that you're a good driver just because you can drive so many hundreds of miles in five hours and six hours. It's not a challenge. You've got to think about yourself and the safety of what you're doing on the road, because concentration can get lapsed if you just keep on driving and you don't stop. The other thing is to understand the, the direction where you're going. You know where the gas stations are so that you have the opportunity to go into those gas stations, number one, to refill your tank so that you do not lose your gas, your petrol along the journey. And number two, the gas stations provide an opportunity for you to rest because when you go into gas station, you come out of the car, you can stretch your legs. If need be, because you're getting tired, you can always park within a gas station and take a nap for about 10, 15 minutes. You'll be surprised how alive you would feel, how your concentration level gets higher because now you've taken that 15, 15 minutes nap. The other thing that you need to do is to ensure that even because there are not so many gas stations on the route, that you have backup drinks in the car, you have backup snacks in the car, you have everything that you need, you even have napkins, you even have water tank, all the things that you feel you may need along the journey. Reason why you don't want to break down on the highway, away from stations, 
and you do not know how to help yourself immediately. The other thing that you need to, we also need to do, for those of us who are not members of breakdown companies, I think it's important that we begin to look at that and be a member of all those rescue vehicles and rescue companies so that if indeed, by chance, mechanically the vehicle breaks down, you can always call on them to come and rescue you from where you are. The other thing that you need to do as well is to ensure that your telephone batteries are fully charged. You never know when you would need to call someone for help or whatever it is. So all these tips are very important when you're going a long distance. Don't drive by yourself if you can avoid it. Make sure that your petrol is, is full, your petrol tank is full, so that you do not need to have too many stops along the way. Make sure that you sleep well overnight before you embark on a journey. Do not drink and drive on a long distance. That would make you go to sleep. Do not overeat because that would tire your body. Ensure you know where you're going so that you can plan where you're going to refill your tank along the way. Plan that you're going to sleep when you get to those gas stations 10, 15 minutes. And always talk to yourself that you're not in a particular hurry to reach the other side because having that in mind means you probably want to overspeed and do things that you shouldn't do, and that makes your whole journey unsafe. And that's our safety tips for long distance driving in this part of town. Thank you. Welcome back. The cashless policy by the federal government is the future of transactions in all sectors of the economy the transport sector inclusive. And this was the focus of an ATM card and mobile expo which recently held in Lagos, where Lamata and its e-ticketing vendor, e system were represented. Sit back and watch this. The beauty of any transport system is embedded in intermodal passenger transport, which is also called mixed mode commuting. The Lagos State Government is resolute in its promise to deliver a multimodal transport system that would promote easy movement, support businesses, social well-being and economic prosperity of the people as well as the environment now and in the future. At the heart of this plan is the decision to achieve the integration of the modes through the use of the electronic ticketing system that would give commuters the opportunity to travel seamlessly using all the public transport modes from rail to bus to water to the cable car when they are fully in place. This is the vision for Lagos State and Lamata has kick-started this process with the launch of its e-ticketing system called the Lagos Connect Card on 29th of July 2013, which is currently being used for commuting on the BRT and BFS systems. With the Lagos Connect Card, commuters will have access to switch from one mode to the other without the challenge of payment or other confusion related with mode switching. The e-ticketing provides commuters many benefits for the authority okay. for us to encourage citizens to be able to use our, our public transport uh, for the operators so that they can maximize their profits and then also for the uh, end users to enjoy seamless means of transportation okay. and pay less okay. at the just concluded card atm and mobile expo africa 2014 lamata in conjunction with the e-ticketing vendor, e Systems Limited, put up an exhibition to explain the workings of the e-payment platform. Day-to-day -day activities all over the world are becoming automated. The need to provide an effective and efficient transport system cannot be achieved without proper consideration to international best practices. The Lagos State Government recognizes this revolution, hence the launch of the Lagos Connect Card in July 2013. 
here at the ATM Card and Mobile Expo 2014. Lamata is here to showcase its involvement in the e-ticketing and electronic card payment system for transportation. Now, Lamata's vision clearly states that it wants to be the foremost facilitator of a sustainable and effective integrated transport system. Lamata itself was launched, started about 2002. But one of our main programs, the one that's made us extremely popular in Lagos State and in the whole country as well, is the BRT system that was launched in the year 2008. In 2009, we launched the BFS scheme. Now, there's a difference between the two. The BRT system is where um, part of the corridor itself has segregated lanes. The BFS scheme in the um, Yanokpaja, Igondo area, is one where the roads is shared with other modes of transport or other road users as well. But that was started in 2009. And then the electronic ticketing system itself, even though we had a pilot program started in the year 2012, but literally it got started where people could use the card system last year, July. The paper ticketing system in Nigeria and in Lagos especially has challenges. The first one is ticket recycling. That is, how do I put that? Ticket recycling means you find a way not to give half of your ticket away. So you find a nice way to keep it and then you can keep on using it for days and then until you're caught. And if you're caught, you probably prostrate and kneel down and start begging typically. So ticket recycling, which leads to fraud. So where there is money, and people can make money, it doesn't matter how small it is, the issue of fraud would always come to play a part. Then there are fake tickets. You wonder how that happens. But then in Nigeria, I think we have special skills, or some of us have special skills, that we can copy anything. doesn't matter where you've brought it. We, we, can copy, we can copy ourselves. The only reason why we don't copy ourselves in Nigeria is because we don't like the competition. So we just keep on copying other things, but not human beings anyway. So we have fake tickets issues. And the other problem that we have, we have littering of those tickets all over the place. For some of us that use the bus routes or even use the corridor, if you go around Ojota, you would actually think you're in mile 12 market. You just find paper tickets littered all over, the, all over the place. And it doesn't look well. It doesn't bode well for a city that wants to be mega and a city that wants to be comparable to other cities in the world. Really, the ticket system is outdated. It causes a lot of problem. And environmentally and visually, it really, really isn't nice. This is an example of the card. For those of you who do not write BRT, for those of us who do not believe in the e-ticketing system, this is a typical example of a card that would allow you to travel, that is the plan, to travel on any mode of public transport in Lagos. The time would come when if you decide to go on Kekenapep and Okada, your little streets, and the water transportation, and the taxis, and the BRT system that you would only need this card. Presently, we have these devices on the buses right now. Uh, for BRT, we have, if you look at the buses, we have two devices, one in front and one at the back. So the one in front is meant to actually take, um, when you come in with their cards, you, the commuters have already gotten these cards. They have these cards. And um, once you have the card, you okay. come in and you tap in. Once you tap in like this on this device, the system shows how much you have on your card. And um, assuming that you are entering from Maryland and you are alighting at my 12. So what this means is that you are coming from here and you are, when you get to this uh, stop, you tap out and the system takes the fair. How does it affect pricing and convenience? Okay, it is very convenient in the sense that um, you don't have to, like what we're trying to do is we don't have to get to the bus stop to go and buy paper tickets. Once you have your card, you already put your money in it and you know, it's just touch and you get to the bus station, you just tap in and when you get there, you tap out. So you don't need change. 
How safe is this card? It is very secure. The, the, the cards are very safe in the sense that once you load your money in it and paraventure you lose the card, the, you can call in. There are numbers on the card which you can call. Uh, they are actually toll free lines. When you call the line, you call the office, our customer care people are there to, carry, to, to, to call, I mean, listen to your calls and you tell them what's happened to you and you tell us the number of the card because when you get the card, there are, you, you register the card. So we have your details on our back end. So what this means is that you tell us the number of the card or you just tell us uh, maybe your maiden's name, you know, what you used to register that card. So once you tell us that, we'll be able to identify the card and we block it. So anybody that sees the card and takes it to the device to tap in, the system shows blacklist. So it means the card has been blocked and we can actually transfer the money on that card back onto a new card that you are going to get now. So your money is very secure as long as you quickly tell us to block the card. So we do that and your money is secure. Nobody can use it. Omuti and so lori to watuni. Da lori we pay your bike mile ko beni rara lori it wai booni tio in bon kwini cashless policy. Ti i joba papo be kalefunwa ni mumushe. E to muki le she la mata, kesi lilo kadi tian kwini, Lagos Connect Card, fun o kwa bi aruti, si atun le lo, ni o jo waju, fun o ko juni, at yo ko ju mi, ti jo bike mile ko ti se e to si lefun. Gege bi ati mo, li lo kadi yo mwa rara, ali lo lo ori ko ori, ati ni igba kubba, ti kubba si wo ni akuwa. Ona no se, Lagos State Government no de carry last. For this cashless policy, where federal government don't introduce, give us. Now you make la mata, ko introduce the card, where they call Lagos Connect card. Where you feel load, use them for BRT, for rally way, even on top water. You know say it's safe. You know to cost, and you go feel use them, even when money no today your pocket. Use the details now appearing on your screen to connect with us. We'll love to hear from you. Till next week. Lamata. Think Transport. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. Be at lanes, modern rail lines, better.